Okay, so Pi News episode eight. Now we've had another update to the Raspberry Pi bootloader EEPROM, and uh, this means that USB boot just keeps keeps getting more and more accessible. And you can see here in the latest changes, add support for booting from USB mass storage devices, add support for boot bootloader updates for USB, MSD, or network boot. I've just found that it's got a lot more compatible recently. Uh, now not all operating systems boot from USB but uh, if you look at probably these two videos, so this USB boot won't fix video still applies. Certain operating systems uh, don't support USB boot. So you have to add 14 files to the boot folder and this video shows you how to do that. And the other one worth looking at is USB boot the simple way and this shows you how to enable USB boot. Uh, I've got loads of videos on USB boot, but yeah, it's really nice to see that it's getting much, much more accessible. So I did a video recently on the DeskPi Pro and I absolutely loved it. Uh, you can fit an SSD in it and uh, it is a really, really nice, neat case with the incredible design. The way that the connections are on the back uh, and all accessible and full-size HDMI is excellent. Well, I had a comment from Elaine Salmore. I hope we got your name right. Uh, I just wanted to show you this new Argon case. Uh, and so I clicked on it and uh, it looks very nice. And it does support M.2 SATA SSD. Uh, now this is interesting because I've got something to talk about M.2 SATA uh, in a minute. UASP, so the high speed supported two full size uh, HDMI. So that looks interesting. They haven't, they haven't offered to send me one or anything. Uh, and I do get sent a lot of cases, but I would love to try one. Uh, where is it? And it's on pre-order at the moment. So here's the M.2 drive, but yeah, that, that does look interesting. I don't know how they're calling it. It looks like maybe it's just a straightforward fan, is it? I can't see any calling in there. There must be something in there anyway. But uh, if I get sent one, I will review it. It looks like it might be passive. Oh, it says active. Software programmable 30 millimeter fan. So that looks really nice. So this is interesting. Uh, this is uh, an NVMe M.2 SSD expansion board for the Pi 4. Now GeekPi send me quite a lot of stuff and uh, I've done some reviews on several cases and things that they've sent me and uh, they said to me if there's anything else I was interested just to let them know. So I let them know and uh, they've put one in the post. So I will be getting one of these. So uh, what does it say? Supports up to two terabyte uh, ideal storage solution for Raspberry Pi 4. NVMe M.2, USB 3.1, 5 gig connectivity, ultra fast data transfer. So that'll be interesting. I don't know what drive to get yet. Uh, I tend to go, I tend to try and stick on the cheaper side anyway, but then am I going to get the speeds that NVMe can deliver? I generally use a lot of cheap SSDs with a SATA cable, which I'm using at the moment, and it does work very well, but I'm hoping that this will be even better. And you can see there's a fan on the top. I don't know, I don't quite know what it exactly what it comes with, uh, but I know that it's got M.2 support, and you can see it there where it'll fit in. So that looks interesting. So a couple of non-Pi things. Uh, I thought I'd add this to the end of the video. So if you're only interested in Pi, you can start watching now. Uh, so I do a lot of vacuum cleaner videos, or I used to, uh, certainly before lockdown, uh, especially Dyson videos. Now this company, uh, Roborock, contacted me, and they're on the Amazon store. And this does look very sort of Dyson-like, uh, especially the brush roller and various things. But uh, they said they would send me one to review, and uh, I, I am interested in vacuum cleaners, so I said yes. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at that, and I'll have a review soon. It should be arriving today, actually. Uh, and another thing non non-pi uh, and I, I turn down quite a lot of, oh look oh snap uh, I turn down quite a lot of stuff um, that I'm offered and certainly some of the uh, advertising that they want to do in video I, t I tend to kind of shy away from because it annoys me sometimes when I see it in other YouTube videos but then if the product's right for me uh, now I, I did a video ages ago on Christmas lights just basic Christmas lights this company twinkly.com uh, well a marketing company contacted me about these lights and it is it is really interesting if I go to let's do YouTube and Twinkly because you can control the lights with your phone but you can also use it for gaming so you can have it as a background and it's uh, it works with sound as well so the sound that's coming out of your speakers when you're gaming uh, it actually responds to that so I don't know I mean this is Twinkly music so this must be yeah I think this is their official 
video because it looks pretty professionally done. So this responds to the music, but you imagine that behind your monitor when you're gaming for certain content. I've also got uh, a full-size Christmas tree that grows outside my house, so uh, we always put lights on it and I thought it'd be nice to try that. But when you see the app, uh, it is really interesting the way you can actually draw on your Christmas tree. I don't know if this is the video that shows it. Yeah, so all these, you can do these little patterns and things like that, um, but you can also draw and you can customize the colors. And I just thought it looked interesting. So I only cover things that I think are interesting. I am gonna be mainly pie uh, because there's so much pie content, but I also need to get back into TVs because I do uh, TV related videos as well. Anyway, I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.